Is that gravel you're walking on? I think so. No way. Good morning, modern steaders. <sighs> we can see some gravel in the driveway. 16 degrees out this morning. But we had some good melting going on. <sighs> you ready for school? Mm. You got flute practice today? Band. Band? Awesome. Bye, Cameron. Bye. What's, that? What's all that noise? You gotta stay out while I feed the chickens. Come on. <laughs> Hello, chickens, Tanner. Are them chickens? Good boy. You ready to go in? You ready to go in? Come on. Tanner, come. Tanner, come. Good boy. Good boy. Get in. This way to New York City. Come on. Careful on the ice. Look at that nice morning sky. Oh, that's just beautiful. Good morning, girls. And Moose, how we doing? And you guys have got some sweet compost going on in there. Oh, this ice. You coming, Pluto? Come on, let's go. I say sweet compost because ever since it started to warm up a little bit and the frost inside the coop, the bedding in the chicken coop's been breaking down and turning into a compost that smells nice and sweet right now. I can't wait to be able to get in there, clean that out, and use that compost in the garden this year, guys. Oh, it's going to make some good tomatoes. I had to put the old ice cleats back on, guys. Everything is covered in ice. Man, we need some nice warm up. Good morning. What are you doing eating on this side, Willow? You normally don't eat on this side. So the feeder is designed for the goats to eat this way, like Willow is. They usually don't. And that's why this side is only as wide as it is. So the goats will stand on the feeder and eat that way. So Willow and Buttercup are using the feeder properly and Blossom is not. If they eat the way Willow and Buttercup are, they keep their heads in the feeder and they don't take all the hay out and make a mess. Well, when we first got the goats, Blossom and Buttercup were too small, so they weren't able to reach by doing that. So I put this platform in the back for them to get on. And I kind of taught them how to use the feet of the wrong way. So maybe this summer we can take that stand off because we're going to be going hopefully this time next week, guys. If everything goes as planned, we'll have our new goat. Our new goat's going to be a baby goat. So she's going to need to stand on that platform to eat out of the hay feeder. Maybe by summertime she'll be big enough and we won't have to have the platform there anymore. Have to wait and see. Our new goat's gonna be traveling quite a distance to get here. I wanted to show you how good the tomato and pepper plants are doing. These guys are just jamming. These are the ones that were under the LED grow light at first and these guys weren't. Let's turn everything on. 
these plants are catching up and I actually need to rise up that grow light again and I need to rise up this grow light again. Oh, they're doing awesome. Look at that. Thing of beauty. Do that there. Raise this thing up a little bit. Let's try wedging a two by four under it. There we go. I can't get over how much the roots are growing out of the soil blocks already. Look at that. There's going to be some good plants this year. Since it's still only 17 degrees out, we'll wait on working on that and we'll go pick up a few of the supplies that we need for a new goat. Hopefully the store has them and if they don't, we still have plenty of time to order them before she shows up. Picked up some blue coats. If any of our goats get her cut or when we disbud them, we can spray them down with this. It's an antiseptic spray. And then I picked up some probiotic powder. I got the probiotic powder for the new goat. This way, if her transportation is stressful at all, we'll give her some probiotic to keep her gut health in check. That way her ruminant stays going and she stays nice and healthy. It's always a good thing to have on hand. Does that smell good? Huh? Does that smell good? Figs is daydreaming. Not too sure how good this is gonna work out. I gotta wear my ice cleats while I'm working on the pastured pig mobile, but man, it's 30 degrees out, the sun is out. I gotta be out here working. It's too nice not to.
is cold. Burr. All right, so I need two pieces cut at 16 inches wide. Adjust our saw depth down even more on this one. We'll go half inch. Put on our air protection. <sighs> cutting on top of ice, so I'm not worried about my blade cutting ice. Nice. Right, that mark 16 inches again. Try to utilize these 4x8 sheets of plywood the best I can so we can get away with the least amount of plywood and scraps. If I was only using the pasture pig mobile to raise pigs in it, I wouldn't be worried about this next step, but I want to use this for a chick brood or two in a couple of weeks. So I'm going to take a piece of plywood and cover this so that these gaps are filled so no little mice or anything can get in or weasels or anything that could kill my baby chicks. If it was pigs, you wouldn't. I wouldn't be worried about that. Do 19 and three quarters. Ah, so we need 19 and a half, haha, <laughs> which is nice. It'll be this line. Nice. That'll be easy to cut. Mark 19 and a half again. Will it follow on another line? No. Actually, we needed 19 and a half for that side and 19 and three quarters for this side. So if we hug this line, we'll be good. Right, let's grab the inch and three quarter screws. up our pocket. Let's see how this goes. Oh, I like it. Push it up on this end. Nice. Now that'll clear the proof that side. I'm gonna fill the space above the doorway with some of this wire.
Boom. Right, so starters, I want to cut it down to 48 inches wide, which is the edge of the groove. Now I want to find center, which is 24 inches groove, because I'm working by myself in at 24 inches. Next, I need to mark seven inches up on each side. And I'll take and put my chalk line on my screw, go to seven inches, snappity snap, clickety click. Same thing on this side. Find my seven inch mark. Bada boom, bada bing. Take my screw out. Clickety clack, clackety click click. And now we're going to cut down our peak. Nice. Grab a few extra screws. We're gonna need them. Hoping our measurements are right. Because if they are, we should just be able to screw it all right in place. fill this space so 13 13 to five and a half by 43 and a half that piece we have this leftover chunk and three quarters is center. I think if we do it this way, we'll get a better peak. It was messed up because I had the screw up top. Okay. 
Now we need to do a notch inch and a half wide by five and a quarter. By cutting it out on the back side, we won't see it when we flip it over. Not bad. What are you doing, Figaro, huh? Well, it's about that time. We'll get Olivia off the bus. You ready? Yeah. Your dog's ready? I think so. Want me to take it? I'll trade you the basket. Yeah, I'd rather dog. hold on to the basket. The basket can't pull you, can it? No, but You girls enjoying the sun? Huh? Does that sun feel good today or what? You ate all your hay? What are you doing, Buttercup? Come on. Stay down. Yeah. Slow down. We are all excited to be going to get the new goat shortly. Oh, we can't wait. Spring is almost here. We're dealing with a lot of ice, a little bit of melting, and then it freezes back up again, and it's got an ice skating rink. Sorry, real life, Tanner's in the background. <laughs> but spring's here, we got goats coming or a goat coming, we got chicks on order, we're getting our pigs soon, 
What have all y'all been up to? I'm sure you have a lot of stuff going on this time of the year. Well, you heard that bell ringing in the background. That's Tanner telling me he needs me to take him outside. So it's where we're going to end today's video. You guys are a true blessing to us in our homestead. And we'll see you right back here next time at Lumna Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom.